Welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 2015 with the Rude Man. And we're back on Ringwoods and, well, we're in the middle of a harvest and it's supposed to rain. So let's look at where we're at. We got 19 and 14 finished, 17 is done, and 11 is almost done. So we're going to move, uh, let's see, we've got three here. We're going to move 17's combine up to 18, get it going. When 16 is done, then we'll move it around, I don't know, 11 will probably go to 8. Let's see what happens here. And also, let's see if we had any notes. Ah, yes, I was supposed to finish the transportation route on the milk. So let's, uh, i tell you what, let me run out and start all the combines and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and we got everything started. Let's, uh, well, I started the engines, let's put it that way. Let's go ahead and do some auto wash on these guys and get them actually motating. This one's done. We'll come back to him in a minute. Let's get these guys all going. And then, let's see, these guys drive the course. Drive the course. Drive the course. Now one of these is done, so this guy here, I think, maybe not. Yeah, this might be the guy. All right, and then let's get our trucks going. He's he's all ready. He's all ready. Okay. Right, they're ready. Let's go back to that combine that's done. And let's see. He does have some prop in him. Let's go get rid of that. Well, actually, I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm just going to run up because this is uh, canola over here, too. So I'll just run over here and start this field. And we'll double up combines on field 18. And whoop it out. Oh, shoot. Oh, not good. Not good. <laughs> Is that my combine following me? <laughs> All right. Let's see. Actually, I don't have a combine up here, do I? No, I don't. So this is the first one. We'll, we'll bring... Uh, 16 over when he's done or whichever one comes done first no 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 well that didn't work so good Let's see if I can climb this hill you need to get out of the way All right, I'm having a hard time. This hill is steep. All right. Now, let it roll and hit the brake. Hit the brake. Hit the brake. Oh, he's, he's bound and determined to get my canola, isn't he? All right, you can have it. Now go. Peace be with you, brother. All right. There he goes. Wow, what a struggle. Okay, so we were finishing this route here. So, let's see. Or if I, maybe I did it. Let me check just a sec. Because I was doing some stuff after we finished. Maybe I already did it. Well, let's see. All right, it was a transport transportation... Uh, no, yeah, I finished him after we left in the last episode. I finished him. All right, so he's empty. Let's choose uh, TP from dairy to farm. And he is empty. Yes, he is. Okay, let's let him go. All right, looks like he's going. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I need to activate that or he'll go hog wild on the other end. And then, let's start this guy. 
And let's see if we can beat him over to the dairy. We should be able to. It's a straight shot for us. I sure wish the mirrors worked on this mod. That'd be cool. Whoa. I don't get stuck in the bushes. Okay, now we do have a course here. Oh, he's full of water. I thought I dumped the water out of him. Uh-oh, now I'm really stuck. That's, that's odd. I thought I had done that. And it looks like Enterprise is done. Well, I'll head back. I thought I had dumped the water. Good thing these things are fast. Driving these things reminds me of Grand Theft Auto. I, I don't drive very well in that game. I think I mentioned before, I saw some of these big YouTubers playing Grand Theft Auto and I had to laugh my ass off because they're professionals and they drove worse than me. <laughs> and I'm terrible. All right, let's go see if this guy is ready to fill up with some milk. Are you ready to pick up some milk? Get rid of that. Give us the other one. Milk to dairy farm. Pull forward just a little bit. Grab the milk. Go back. You're not quite done yet. And Lynn, let's see. What else do we need to be doing? 19 and 14 uh, need to be windrowed. 17 is canola, so we don't have to windrow that. So... All right. I'm going to need to find um, tractors for wind growing. Give me an empty tractor somewhere. Well, he's not empty, but he's full. And uh, it looks like he just had a little bit left to do, didn't he? Oh, well. Um, that little bit of grass ain't gonna bother me to leave. Okay, so let's do a transportation course. And, uh, let's see here. We're gonna do field six or field five. Um... Feel 5 and 6 to 20 right there, that one. Let's do that. Drive the course. Stop at the last trigger so he doesn't go hog wild on the other end. And then let's continue looking for tractors. Make sure he's going to hit that okay. Okay. Now, what's the deal with this guy? Has he finished with his with his uh, silage. Yep, that one's full of grass. That one is full of grass. And this one is not full of grass. So he's got a little bit of work to do here and then that'll give us this tractor to use. All right. Uh, silage to two, let's turn that off. And we're going to do silage to three. Right there. You go, girl. No, really. Go. Okay, we're still on our search for an, a usable tractor. Let's get rid of this course. We're going to switch to transportation. And we're going to transport this guy... Uh, field 20 to Old Sheep Farm right there. Drive the course and stop at the last act, act to trigger. 
and then keep looking for tractors. That's a truck. That's a truck. Truck, tractor, here we go, right here. Where are we at? This is the south farm. Okay. Let's run this down. I'm pretty sure that the wind rowers are are down um, by the uh, equipment dealer. Is this an any or an Audi? It's an any. I love this tractor. It's got so many cool features to it. Oh, like I can turn the mirrors on. And then, uh, does this back window open? Let's see. It does. Cool beans. I don't need to open the doors. What else opens? Does this open? It's too bad it's not a, a, a moon roof. What is that? Oh, I forgot. It's got a windshade. <laughs> All right, onward. <laughs> that funny. Uh-oh. Enterprise got stuck in the neutral zone. Oh, I guess he did. He's doubling up here. Everybody's stuck in the neutral zone. Okay, so let's stop him. See if we can get around the milk truck. Let's uh, let's see. Let's move him up here, and then let's get milk truck and uh, milk to dairy. He's ready to go. Activate that, and let's go back to Enterprise. Get him back on his route. Activate the last trigger. And now we gotta find our tractor again. This tractor is the only tractor I've had that I know of that has the capability of reverse driving. And I understand that I heard with uh, 2017 they were going to introduce uh, tractors with reverse driving. I'm not quite sure if that's the terminology that they used. Uh, it seems like it is, but I might be mistaken. And when I first read it, I didn't know what they meant until I started driving this tractor. And then um, I'll show you what it means. We're going to unhook our piece of equipment here. And then let's pop around here to get our piece of equipment here and then if we if we uh, do this and flip that little switch right there our seat turns around and there we go reverse driving so then we can now come in and and hook up uh, to this piece of equipment without any hassles a quick switch and we're back. Cool beans, huh? Now, okay, he's moving. He didn't look like he was moving. Well, granted, he probably wasn't moving very fast. All right, so let's do, let's see. We're going to do farm work. We're going to do... Uh, straw field 14 and there we are right there line it up and hit the road jack all right now go we'll check on milk stop him get rid of that course pull up I think this tank might be full Let's see. I love that hose work in there. Well, he wasn't full, but he soon will be. 
if I'm not mistaken. I don't think they hold that off of much. How much do you hold? All right, he took what he could. So let's move forward. Link up to this one. There he goes. And then we need to set our course back uh, from dairy to farm. And swing around. And let's find our closest trigger to home would be around here. Activate that. Now what's he doing back here? Oh, he was... Um, Emptying out his, uh, yeah, he was emptying out his water. So we need to go to milk farm to dairy. And then let's race up there and see if we can beat that guy. Pretty sure we can. We're awful close. Okay, let's see. Where's the dairy? Right there. And again, don't get stuck in the bushes. There he goes. I'm supposed to be drinking more water. I drink a lot of pop, which is not good for you, as everybody knows. And, um,. Uh, I don't like drinking water. Uh, I mean, if I'm really, really thirsty and the water's really cold, sure, it tastes good, but but I'm not a big water drinker, just drinking water per se. Um, I'm sure if I started doing it all the time, I'd probably get used to it and I'd probably be craving a glass of water. But since I'm not, and I don't, I tend to like these um, these little single, what do they call them? Singles to go, and they got all different kinds of them. I kind of like the, like the Snapple peach tea. So, if my voice is sounding a little weird, I'm turning around and and doing stuff as we as we play here. I'm mixing up this one. This one is actually made by the um, the soda company that makes Squirt. It's actually Squirt, but it's non-carbonated. I'm gonna try that. It's just, you know, it's just water. I mean, I'm just drinking water. I just like it with a flavor. All right, let's see if we can get away with this and see where the other guy's at, right behind me. The best thing is I don't have to mess with bottles. If you drink Snapple, which I do, um, then you got all these bottles to contend with and you have to recycle them or take them back to the store. I live in Oregon where everything's got a deposit on it. So if you want your money back, you got to take it back to the store. Um, I don't like doing that, so I wait till the Boy Scouts come around or kids from the school that want to try to make money to travel to Washington, D.C. or something. I open up the garage and there's $100 worth of bottles in there or cans. And I say, there you go, run them to the store. Okay, from dairy to farm or from farm to dairy. That's the one. That's not the one. Milk farm to dairy. That is the one. Where are you going? He's trying to go back to the start. No, don't go back to the start. Go to that, right there. The other guy get there yet? Oh, he's pretty close. So I'm experimenting with different kinds of these uh, powdered drinks. They're not they're not a powdered drink. All they all they do is flavor the water. So you basically you're drinking water with a little bit of flavor in it. And I'll be danged if it doesn't taste like squirt. It's just not carbonated.
Okay, we better go check on stuff. See how these guys are doing because, as you may have forgotten, because I did, look at the sky. It's still supposed to rain today. <laughs> I can't believe it. According to uh, game weather, it's supposed to have showers today. It looked like it this morning, but it doesn't now. All right, let's get rid of this canola. Where the hell are we? No, oh, this is field 11. Wow, field 11 went pretty fast. Oh, I got Enterprise to get going down there too. So, let's see. And you know what? Is there any... Is there anything in him? Has he got anything in him at all? Let me get up close here. Up close and personal. He's absolutely empty, so I'm going to bypass him. Oh, shoot. I might have just messed up Royal. Oh, tight squeeze, tight squeeze. There we go. All right. We're going to run up here and just dump right in the truck ourselves, save a trip. Nothing. He's full. Is he full? Okay, there you go. Now, before I do anything else, check the rest of these guys, make sure they're doing their thing, and then this guy can stop what he's doing. He actually, I don't know if he did anything. He must have, though. And then, what's this guy? I guess he's still waiting to do something. What? I don't know. He's waiting until the fuel level level is reached. Ah, <sighs> what's this guy doing? 15? Okay, he's doing his thing. So, this guy is now done. Is he not? Yeah, because his truck went up to um, 18. So, let's change this to field 18. Um, overload. Field 18. Drive the course. And let's see where he goes. I'm, I'd be interested to find out where he goes. We gotta get this guy out of the way because I think that's where he's going. Alright, so what are we doing here? Um, let's double 18 up. Let's take this guy and run him over to 18 and let's jump up to this other corner give them a little distance now I've been told oh gosh many many times by subscribers about this so it's not like I don't know about it I just forget about it um, until it becomes necessary but when you're doing auto wash you can do this distance thing and I just always forget to do it so when you're doubling up on a field you can do that I always forget to do that that way they're aware that there's some something else on the field and not to get too close or at least I think they're aware of it All right, let's uh, stop him and uh, get rid of this course. Switch up to the next course, which is uh, dairy to the farm. Grab this guy and uh, stop his course. All right, he topped that one off, which didn't take much. Let's pull in here a little bit. I love those uh, those pipes coming out. They're cool. They're cool. All right, now let's see. Windrowing. Um, what were we waiting for? Let me think. Okay, we're waiting for this guy to finish because we need that. Uh, we're going to need this. So let's stop this. Get out of that. We're going to do field work. We're going to do 
Um, not this. We're going to do grass, mow 20 right there. And let's run. Me. Now he's full. So I got to go empty him first. And has he got a weight? He needs a weight. I know I've got one someplace that's not being used. At least I think I do. But I could be confused. I do have uh, quite a few maps that I'm playing. I may be thinking of a different map. I got confused too that I, where'd all my windrow go? And then I remembered that um, I sold it. If you remember, I made um, I made um, compost out of it. That's where I got all that compost. Okay, the Fent has finished work. That means that uh, 14 is windrowed. So let's stop him. Select a new course. Straw 19. And run across this field. I'm hoping that I didn't make a mistake when I set this course because I set this one going this way because there's a fence down there, see? And I kept hitting that fence. I didn't look at 19, but I don't think there's a problem because I made it go the other way too. I really don't think it's an issue though. Whoa, momentum, gravity. Oh shoot. Um, I didn't delete the last course. Silly me. I'm just such a goofball. Yeah. I'm warm and fuzzy. Alrighty. Look at the sunroofs up. Well, it's actually not a sunroof. It's just, well, I, I don't know what you'd call that. I consider a sunroof one that's glass that lets the sun in. I liked one car, I had a moonroof. That was cool. I don't know what the difference is, but... Okay, is he empty? He is. So let's... Let's see. Um, he does not have a course. So let's give him one. Milk farm to dairy, right there. And let's pull him around. If I start him right here, he tries to go to the start of the course. So you got to kind of move him around a little bit. Wait a minute. Oh, I chose the wrong one, didn't I? I sure did. It should have been dairy to farm. Dairy to farm, that one. He might work a little better if I do it that way. Oh, I got a ton of milk to sell, that's for sure. All right, let's go look around. I was doing something else, I don't remember what it was. What's he doing? Uh, field 11, yeah, he's got no purpose now, does he? So, let's take him up here and wait until we reach uh, field number eight, which shouldn't be too long. How are we doing on these fields? All right, 17's done, 18's got two on it, 16's got one. No, wait, really? I thought I only had three combines. Um. Do I have four combines? Let's see, I got this one on uh, field 15, this one on field 18, this one on field 18, and this one on field, yeah, I have four. Why did I think I only had three? Huh, that's what I get for thinking. All right, so we're just gonna make this guy wait 
Do I have a course for eight? I don't remember. I do. So let's just wait him wait him out. We're gonna choose uh, overload eight and let him go now. All right, everybody else seems to be working pretty well. Let's take this guy. Oh, we were going this way. No, we weren't. I had this guy um, working over on field 20. That's right. I still need a, an extra tractor here. So, no course loaded. We want to do grass mow 20. And uh, run him up on and flip him around here. There you go. Go to work. Now I gotta find. Oh, I was gonna use this guy. He's done. Because he's not dumping anymore. So he's done. So let's dump this. And we'll borrow this guy's tractor. As soon as we dump this. I love these tractors too. They don't spin around or do anything fancy, but they're really detailed. And you should see these things at night. Oh my God, do they light up? I love the beacons on this map, on this uh, mod. They've got um, LED flashers in the front, look like a cop car. They're really cool. The Plafum farm. Wasser empty. Oh, okay, okay. The uh, potato washer is empty. I should grab some of those and see if I can get the, uh, the pig forage thing working. I couldn't ever get the pig forage thing to work on this farm. And then they changed to version 5, and I still don't know. I haven't tried it since then. All right, so this one I have to back up manually. See, I'm, I'm doing the uh, exorcist trick here, where I spun my head around backwards. Okay, so let's see. Now, I don't have anything else to do now, do I? Because... 16 isn't done yet. I just did... Or 15. 17's canola. There's no windrow. 11's canola. No windrow. 18 will have no windrow. I won't have anything to do now. This windrow is going to be done to handle that. You know what? You know what? I don't really need this windrow. What I'm going to need is the forage wagon. Where's my other forage wagon? I think I've got two of them. Um, I don't know where it's at. There's that one. Was it back on the south farm? Now my trailers are up here when I'm probably going to need them down on the south farm. So I got an email today. Actually, I got an email a couple days ago. I don't check my email. I don't... I, I hardly ever do social media. I'm not a, a big social media buff. Um, but a lot of people use it, so I have... I have Twitch and Twitter and Facebook, um, just not real big on them. I don't have a smartphone, so you know I don't do a lot of that kind of thing. But I got an email a couple days ago. I just saw it today. My uh, new graphics card, the NVIDIA 1070, has been shipped. So 
I saved, I don't know, about 50 bucks on it. Alright, so we've got this guy. Let's pick him up. I'm not quite sure how long it's going to take to get here. It's free shipping. <laughs> Sometimes you, you gotta, I don't know. Free shipping might mean, well, we'll get it to you when we get it to you. It's not costing you, so shut up. You know? <laughs> so, you know, hey, we sent it via, via Russia. It'll be here in a month or two. It's on a slow boat from wherever. So you never know. Okay, so we need to delete this and we need to do uh, field work and we're going to choose not silage. We're going to choose straw field 14 and we're going to come over here and we're going to drive the course. I don't think he's going to fill on this, but let me see while I'm thinking about it. Let's get out of that. And I don't think we have a field 14. No, we don't. I don't think he's going to fill up, to be honest with you. Because most time I lie to you. I don't know why I do that. Yeah, I guess it's because I used to hear... Well, I'll tell you who I heard it a lot from. If you ever watched those... Uh, the, the father and sons that did the motorcycles, the OC... Uh, but whatever it was, the Tuttle family. The one older boy uh, that did most of the designs and stuff constantly said, well, to be honest with you, uh, I thought this was blah, blah, blah. Well, to be honest with you. And every time he, I said it, I thought, well, okay, so you're going to be honest with me about that. Does that mean that you lie about everything else? If it, Otherwise, why would you have to tell me well, now I'm saying honestly. So, whenever, whenever I catch myself saying, "Well, to be honest with you," I, I think, well, because I lie to you every other time, but this time, listen to me, because I'm going to be honest with you. Anyway, it makes me laugh. I used to laugh, dude, dude. All right, let's go check on everybody. We got to get this guy to work. I've been goofing around here. Um, field work. Let's get rid of that course, and we're going to choose the old sheep farm. But we don't need transport. We need uh, mow. Grass. Old sheep farm. I don't know why I didn't call it old uh, mow old sheep farm. I didn't, so sue me. Now, there's a great big lump here that I couldn't figure out what the hell it was. I don't know if that's one of those storage heaps or if it's just a big lump. I, you know, I, I actually think it's just a big lump. Oh, how did I get stuck? No, seriously. See, it's just a big lump and you get stuck on it. All right, now I don't think I can leave all this stuff on. So let me just do this and start the course. Oh, he's not gonna do that, is he? And I'm stuck again. No, not quite, but... I'm even stuck in forward, come on. Full power to the nacelles. Get me out of here. Does that mean this guy's done? Sure looks like it. Well, all righty then. Oh, shoot. Forgot about this guy. Oh, he's not able to get rid of all of his milk? No, he's not. All right, well, hey, we're done here for a while. Let's see here. Let's uh, dump that. We're going to choose uh, to go back to the farm, I guess. Um, let's do dairy to farm. Which I already had, evidently. But before we go, let's sell this milk. Because I think, I think we can sell it back here. Not this one. I think that's where we sell our homogenized milk. I think it's this one over here. Oh, boy. 
That's a tight squeeze. Let's let's flip around here. I'm gonna flip a donut. Wee haw. Come back around. Okay, I think this is where you sell the raw milk. Pretty sure. I may be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure. So we sell the raw milk here. And then and then the other yellow one over there is where we sell the homogenized milk that's in those tanks cooking. So there, we're getting paid for that. That's the raw milk. So if you're in a big hurry to empty your milk tanks out and you don't want to wait for the homogenizer to finish, you can just sell it raw. Uh, but, you know, I'm not that excited about it. See, this is where you'd sell the stuff that's being cooked in those tanks right there. So, yeah, I'm not in that big a hurry. I'll wait until the tanks get empty. So let's go down and get this other guy out of the way. He's not really a milk truck, so... Let's just move him around. Oh! Our guy's empty. Let's just park him here. Whoa, stop, stop. Stop. Okay, he is uh, uh, al almost full. Almost. So, let's get him emptied out. Whoa, whoa. This guy needs a... Uh, Oh, wait. I said that before, didn't I? Still no rain. I've been waiting for rain all day. Uh-oh, comes a milk truck. <sighs> yeah, that's how I feel. Tired today for some reason. I've been recording all day. I'm trying to catch up on this farming stuff. Getting ready for um, 2017. What is today? Today is Sunday, the 14th of August. August tomorrow will be half over. Imagine that. School in two weeks. Oh my God. No. There's good things and bad things about living across the street from the school. Uh, in my case, it's mostly bad. When the kids were little, it was good because everything was just across the street. I didn't have to worry about a parking spot. And, uh, all right, let's just swing this guy in here. So that was good. Uh, bad things now that the kids are grown and out of school. Some of them. I got I got one that's still in uh, grade school, but let's see here. Stop this. Uh, the traffic. Oh my God. The traffic in front of our house. There's always somebody block, uh, parking and blocking our driveway and and pulling into our driveway to to, to hit, make a U-turn and and blocking our mailbox is just ungodly. It's just always, it's just terrible. In the morning between 7.30 and 8.15, the traffic is just terrible on our street. You can't, you couldn't get out of your driveway if you wanted to. Nobody lets their kids ride the bus anymore. They drive them all to school. It's just awful. And uh, like I say, we, you know, we almost constantly, we almost have to be here when the mailman drives up so we can walk out and get our mail. Now, we do have a city ordinance that you can get um, a ticket for, um, you can't park within 15 feet either direction of a mailbox in our town. It's a, it's a city ordinance. Then... Um, it's also a city ordinance that they can't block your driveway. Now, 
it's kind of a gray area. What is this? This is 16. It's kind of a gray area because if if they're just if they if they pull behind your cars directly behind you in your and block your driveway, but they don't get out of the car, they consider that a drop off or a pickup because they haven't actually parked and and got out of their car. So in that case, uh, it's kind of a gray area. They won't ticket them. They will. They will do something if you need to leave and they won't move to let you out of your driveway. Then the cops will come. So, but supposedly it's a gray area because technically, if you had to get out, all you'd have to do is say, "Hey, I need to get out," and they would move and let you out. So they haven't really blocked you in. Now, if they if they park their rig, get out of it, and leave it, that's a violation. And I can call the police and they'll either ticket or, or tow them. Well, that's all fine and well, but I don't want to be that kind of guy that has somebody towed because they blocked my driveway when I'm really not planning on going anywhere at the moment. It still perturbs you, though. I mean, I don't know, I, I don't talk a lot about my health, uh, but I do have a heart condition. I'm diabetic, I had a stroke. Um, I'm fine, I'm fine, but there's no telling when I might have another heart attack and I'd like to be able to get out of my driveway. So, uh, so it's kind of irritating. I, I think the best thing is that our house is really well insulated and if all the windows and doors are closed, and most of the time the school is in a session in colder weather, you know, throughout the winter, I don't hear the traffic. If I keep the drapes drawn, I don't see it. That's the best policy. Because if I stand there and look out the window, I think, oh my God, there's somebody blocking our driveway again. Or, you know, it's like, did, did you see they came within inches of hitting our car, flipping a Yui in our driveway? Um, it just gets constant. So I just get in the habit of not going anywhere near the front of the house when there's a window open during school. And, uh, and I feel better. So, and I don't necessarily blame anybody because they're trying to get their kid to school. They're late for work. Uh, there is literally no place to park. But we have, um, a sm we live in a small community. There's 5,000 people in our in our little community and we have two schools a grade school and and combination junior high and then the high school so the school across from me is the grade school slash junior high and it is packed literally packed this last year they had to bring portable buildings in and put them almost onto the track behind the school so they'd have more room. And the problem is that we live on the coast and they need another school, but they can't build one because everything's wetlands and they can't seem to come up with a place that they will let them build a school. It's ridiculous, but that's the way, you know, that's the way things are nowadays. Evidently, a mud duck is more important than your children. So, yeah, I, I won't get started in that. But anyway, let's just say I, I don't look forward to school starting. It's just uh, they overtake my driveway. Whoa, what happened? He just took off on me. Okay, this guy's done. That guy's done. Let's see. I'm going to move one to... to, to uh, wait a minute. How are we doing here? Uh, 15 still... Okay, 15 can handle what he's doing. I'll move this guy up. We'll double up on uh, 18. And then the other one I'll send up to th uh, field number three. Weehaw.
Let's see. I think, if I'm not mistaken, this this field right here has another little patch up here that's bald on this corner. So I think I'll start up here. I may be mistaken. It just seemed like it did. Boy, this is a big field, isn't it? Yep, it does. Oh, it's got a lovely little area here. More than just one little bald patch. <laughs> driving these combines is like driving a stromboni. No, is that how they pronounce that? The thing that they uh, shave the ice on a uh, ice rink. One of those things. I may not have pronounced it right. I'm not. I'm not Italian. I notice I didn't say Italian. <laughs> I said that one. Oh, 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 oh! Fix that. Stop. Oh, you can't do it while it's running? There you go. I said that one time. Yeah, I, I love that Italian food. And this guy says, what, are you from Italy? I said, what do you mean? He says, it's not Italian, it's Italian. Because it's Italy. And I said, Italy? Did you say Italy? He didn't like that either. Good thing he's not in the mafia or anything like that. Okay, so um, where are we at? This is 15. This guy is the opposite of... No, that's the guy I just started. Where's the other one? Not this one. This guy. Where's he at? Where's he? Oh, okay, okay, okay. He's coming. I want to catch him and have him fix that corner over there when he gets around to it. When he gets around to it. We need to get moving here, though. We need. Uh, we need to make sure that all these guys here, there's nothing in him, nothing in him, uh, nothing in him, and nothing in him, although uh, there's probably something in that, in that uh, combine up there, so let's see, he does have stuff in him, let's get him started. And to quicken things up a little, I'm going to run him down and have him physically dump into the truck. Because I need that truck. To move up to field number three. Where's my truck? Hey, where is my truck? Did he take off? Come back. I didn't realize he was full. How are we doing for crop now? Well, we're just... Look at all the crop we've got. If we have a... What do they call that? Oh, 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 wait a minute. Was this the farm that had um, a special price? No, if it did, it's gone. I thought there was one that had a special price on canola. And there probably was, but it, it's gone now. Okay, so this guy, this guy, this guy, we don't need any of these guys. We just need this truck right here. Alright, let's stop him because we don't need this course anymore. And let's run him up and get this stuff. See if we can speed this process along a little bit. Okay, there you go. All right, I'm gonna run this up to the farm. I'm not gonna dump it at this one. I'll dump it at the other one. On the oh, okay. Well, it looks like it's time for me to go. So, hope you had fun. If you did, give it a like, share it with a friend, sign up if you haven't on my uh, web page, on my YouTube page, subscribe and. Uh, I'll see you on Ringwoods in the next episode. Happy farming.